Hello and welcome to This Day Devo. My name is Pastor Guy Smith. I am honored to have you here. Did you know that this is the day that the Lord has made? So let us rejoice and be glad in it, Psalm 118, 24. Let that be a reminder as you begin your day to be glad in this gift of this day that the Lord has made for you. So I want to talk to you a little bit today about light and darkness. In Isaiah 9, 12, the Bible says, The people who walk in darkness will see a great light. For those who live in a land of deep darkness, a light will shine. This particular verse and passage is a prophecy of the coming Christ that we celebrate at Christmas and uh, give glory to him in the light being sent into the world, into this dark and lost place. And so light and dark are the concepts that are frequently contrasted throughout Scripture, that uh, light is good and dark is evil. And we see the reality in this, that the powers of darkness are uh, ranging against the light that's revealed in Jesus, but we have the power in Jesus to overcome. Jesus always overcomes the darkness. You know, our church is built uh, in, uh, or currently housed in a building that used to be an electric company building. And so one of the things that we like to say is this building was originally designed and created for and functioned as for uh, right around 50 years, I believe, as a, a hub where men would come and they would get their tools and get equipped to go out into the community and spread electricity, thereby spreading light into the world. And now that we have taken over this space and we've repurposed it for the work of the church, for the work of Christ, now we are still spreading light, but now instead of physical light and physical electricity, now our church building location is a hub where people come and they receive and they hear the light of Christ and there they go off, they receive the light of Christ and they go off and they spread that into the community and throughout the world wherever life takes them. And so light and dark, we're called to be the light and Jesus is the light. Light is something that from the very beginning, um, God is expressing himself really as light into darkness. Uh, it, it was even at creation. The earth was without form and void and darkness over the face of the earth and the spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. John 1 5 says, The light shines in the dark, and the darkness has not overcome it. Jesus is the light of the world. One of the things that's interesting about light, uh, if you think about it, you know, I um, if you walk into a room that is dark and you want there to be light, you know, we flip a switch and we see light. Light takes over. The darkness, it overcomes the darkness. But if you walk into a room and the light is already on and you want to turn on the darkness, you can't do that, can you? I can't turn on darkness. The way for darkness to win in a room is for the light to be turned off or for the light to be removed. So light is always victorious. Light is always the overcomer of darkness. And that's what it is spiritually with Christ. We live in this dark world where uh, so often we find that people are, and even in ourselves, of course, right, we find ourselves being pulled towards and falling in love with darkness rather than with light because our, our, our sinful enticements of our heart are turning us towards wicked things, turning us towards evil. John 3, 19 and 20 says it this way, and this is the judgment. The light has come into the world and people loved the darkness rather than the light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come to light, lest his works should be exposed. That's one of the things that light does in our life and in our souls. When we experience and receive the light of Jesus, when we are made new in Christ, when we are given a new heart, a new creation, 
the light, when we hear, experience the light of Jesus, it, it exposes. We're able to see the evil in our own hearts. We're able to see the sin in our own hearts that we need to repent of. And it's through the light of Jesus that those are exposed to us. And then upon receiving the light of Christ, what are we called to do? What do we do with that? Luke 8, 16 says, No one, after lighting a lamp, covers it with a jar or puts it under a bed, but puts it on a stand so that those who enter may see the light. We allow for the light of the world to shine through us so that all will see and that they too will have their sin and their evil and their wickedness exposed by the light overcoming and sending it and spreading into the darkness. And therefore, they can be receiving new life. They can be made whole. They can be forgiven. They can have the light of Christ in their life as well. So we don't receive the light, cover it up, and sit back. No, we shine like a city on the hill and let all the world see the light that has come into the world and overcome the darkness. That's the spiritual truth of what God has done in your life as a new born-again believer. And that is an invitation for all who will hear the story of the gospel of Jesus laying down his life for our sins and come and come. Thank you for being here. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the light that you sent into this world. Thank you for being our overcomer in this dark and wicked generation. Thank you, Lord. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you enjoy these devos, I'd invite you to share with a friend, like it, review it, subscribe, comment, uh, and uh, I would greatly appreciate that along the way. So have yourself a super awesome day. Bye. Take my-